Well, at this point, we move on to our report on the cinema. Not the films, but the cinema. Let me ask you a question. When did you last notice the Baroque ceiling or the Art Deco light fittings at your local movie house? If the answer to that is do what, or something similar, I must assume that your interest in the cinema is wholly to do with the films on exhibition. Well, that's OK. No need to feel apologetic. But there is an outfit called the Cinema Theatre Association whose members devote themselves pretty well exclusively to the architecture of picture palaces with very little regard to what they happen to be showing and who canvass for their preservation lest they should be converted into supermarkets, bingo halls, car parks or any other such eyesore that the 20th century prizes above places of entertainment and intellectual edification. When we caught up with them in Lincolnshire, they'd already seen two screens. Can I welcome you to the Ritz Lincoln on behalf of myself and my wife, and I hope that the hour or so that you're with us, you might find something of interest. Since purchasing the Ritz, we've spent approximately £150,000 on the building. Uh, visually, some of it has been spent, and others been spent on things like heating and wiring. Uh, things that I can show you just from where you're sitting, for example, this cove, which is round the centre of the building, it started 21 years ago. It was started by somebody called Eric George, who was very concerned about the disappearance of very large cinemas at that time when they first started to be demolished and go. And he felt that there, would, there was room for a group of people who would be interested in them and also to try and help to preserve them. And it, it's gone from strength to strength. It obviously had quite a small membership in its early days, uh, but now it has nearly 800 members, not only in this country, but also abroad. We've got a thousand seats down here, um, and of course these seats originally went right up to the orchestra pit. Now, if we open these house tabs now, that was very good, <laughs> like magic. That is our widescreen, and then we go into scope. This is a weekend of visiting cinemas in Lincolnshire. Uh, we started here in, in Lincoln. We've already seen two cinemas. We're going on to see about another half a dozen throughout the rest of, of Lincolnshire. Um, and we're going to be looking at every aspect of their running. I suppose it is slightly cranky, but I mean, that's the British, isn't it? I mean, we're all a bit cranky. You know, long may it continue. Our next visit now is to the cinema in the woods at Woodhall Spa. This is a delightful cinema converted from a cricket pavilion and dates from 1922. The cinema is owned by James Green, who has lovingly restored it really to its original state. There's nothing modern about it anywhere, actually. Nothing at all. Yeah. I'm very interested in 1930s architecture, and cinema is often the most exciting examples of that. And secondly, I'm a great uh, fan of films and think they should be seen in the proper atmosphere. I feel myself that it's quite interesting to go around and get a record of them before they all go. But the more vulgar and the more tasteless the decor is, the more I like it. And the same goes for the film sometimes, too. But I think what's clever is the, is the trompe l'oeil effect. Yes. You know what you get from whichever angle you stand. And the fact that this appears to be one lump of marble here. Yes, and another it's surprising thing is that it's lasted so well. Yeah. The magic moment for me was when the curtains closed and the lights went up and I could see all the architecture. And I got the feel in my blood and I've had it all my life ever since. And it'll never let go. Next up, the Bijou, Mablethorpe. Where we are sat this morning was originally the Silver Dollar Amusement Arcade. And that arcade was purchased by Mr Green in 1980, and it was demolished, and this cinema was built on that site. The fixtures and fittings in the building all came from the Picture House stone, 
and they are in the 30s style. The pipe organ, which was custom built by David Hill of Caister, was installed on its lift in 1983. <laughs> And that's where we left the Cinema Theatre Association, though they went on without us to see screens in Boston, Spilsby, Skegness and Sleaford. I've had many magic moments like that in the cinema when the most attractive piece of architecture I've seen is the door with exit written on it.